Good day. Welcome to King Wells Everything. Got a new LED light. This is not it. You can see it's quite bright here. I got a nice little glass one here. This is the one I've been using. This is a cool white, all plastic. Really nice. Very heavy. It actually has a plastic coating on the outside, a plastic covering, so you can't grab it and get electrocuted if you did that. Uh, fits really nice. Does a good job. Is it comparable to a 500 watt uh, normal R7 bulb? Absolutely not. That saves me about half that, uh, but it's still a decent, decent light. So if you don't want to suck up a lot of power, make a huge amount of heat, which the, uh, the the normal ones do. But this is the bulb I got. Actually, I broke one already. It is glass, and you can see I broke the little end off. There are, there's really no electronics in here. If you look, you can see it's just a wire going to the end, wire going to the end, and it is a double sided. If you kind of zoom in here, you can kind of see there's like a little. Uh, uh, like a piece of glass in between the two. So it's got the LEDs on one side with the coating and the LEDs on the other side. Can't tell exactly how many LEDs are. Very small, but it is quite bright. It makes just a nice solid light. You can dim this. Um, if you do dim it, you're going to be disappointed. It flickers badly. It flickers hor horrifically uh, on, on lower power, but on full power, very good. I'm trying to, I'm kind of curious how this actually works. Unless maybe these are some little components here underneath it. I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to try and reuse this. But it is double-sided, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so it does use the reflector as opposed to this one also, because you figure it's just round, so it uses the back of it to reflect whatever LEDs on the back side. So that's pretty cool. So that's kind of how it gets a lot of its brightness instead of just one side. And I always thought maybe this is the front, that's why I pointed front, but it could be back or front. Probably here doesn't matter. But I did break it. I was actually, if you look here, you see it's kind of wide on this side, skinny on that side. I was pushing it in on that side and what snap. Like son of a gun. But well, let me show you the bulb. Let me go over here. So you can kind of see the bulb. Get a little bit of a strobing effect on this one. The white one, which I thought it would be very stroby, is actually not. But this one, I'm trying to get a good view so you're not blinded. Uh, nice, nice natural color. It's actually really bright. You can see it's quite bright. Uh, the white one is very nice. It's like a very cold white. I think this was like a 5,000, 6,000 Kelvin bulb, and this is just uh, probably like 4,300 Kelvin, something like that. Still quite a nice light. And I paid a couple bucks for these. I like to try different bulbs, and I'm actually really impressed with these. I'm going to run these for a, a good, you know, eight hours to see if anything happens to it, if it burns out or gets overheated, because it's uh, really not, there's no heat sink or anything. It just looks like it's just on a piece of glass, in a glass. So I'm assuming this is a vacuum, because it's got the little piece here that would suck it out and seal it. So that's kind of interesting. So it really heat would just radiate, not convection or anything like that. So I'm kind of curious how long it'll last, especially on the high power. So the low power, very flickery, very, very flickery, visibly, visibly flickery, but still kind of neat. So I really like new bulbs. I'll kind of send you, show you the link down below where I got it. I think I got this one off of eBay. Oh, it's got hair on it. I got it from eBay. Same with this one. I think I got off of eBay. Uh, Amazon, you can get these, these two. But I usually get them off of eBay because you can get them really early from China uh, before they're even available in the United States and get to test them out. So it's kind of a cool, cool new light. Came in this in a box, and that was it. And very, very nice bulb. And it is a R7 160mm cob, uh, 110 to 140 volt natural white. But uh, not very expensive, a couple bucks for these. And actually, I'm fairly impressed with other than I broke one because I'm stupid and fat finger didn't but it'll be kind of interesting to take this apart like i said you can just see one wire going in one wire going out that's it and it leads on both sides pretty cool little bulb so anyway i'll put a link below if you're interested you can take a look at it and check it out because it's kind of cool i think i'm going to get the the cool white one next natural is kind of more uh uh yeah i want to kind of mix natural and the, the cool white kind of gives it a neat, nice in-between color so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video that's you guys have a great day